The Sargood Centre in Collaroy, which will provide unique rehabilitation for people with a serious spinal cord injury, has been given the green light. Named in honour of Sir Frederick Sargood, the centre will be located at the south end of the beach and was approved as part of the Collaroy Master Plan on the 28th of August. Mayor of Warringah, Michael Regan, says that the centre is about integration and has full community support. The Sargood Centre is a spinal injuries unit that's being built um, by the Sargood Group, if you like. It's an amazingly important facility and the community fought very hard to ensure that that block of land stayed as a community purpose and not built into another set of units or another house overlooking and what it will deliver and their vision for the community and the, and the people that are in there with these horrific spinal injuries is to integrate them back into society, not just sort of be part of society, but to integrate them back in and that's a, an amazingly positive community and um, private uh, partnership. The centre will be a life learning campus where patients develop skills for managing disability so that they can work on relationships, find a career and participate in recreational activities. Receptionist at the Sargood Centre, Heidi Hayden, talks about the facility's purpose and advantages. Um, it'll be a world class facility so we'll focus on whole of life approach as opposed to just uh, like a physical transition. It's at the beach. Uh, a nice place to recuperate I think from a from a traumatic injury um, and it will also involve the community a lot so everyone will be involved you'll feel at home here um, as opposed to a hospital setting which is just white walls and doctors. <laughs> the main causes of traumatic spinal cord injuries are road trauma, falls and water related accidents. According to the Spinal Cord Injury Network more than 10,000 people in Australia have a spinal cord injury 70% of which are male. Local resident and historian Phil Coleman worked very hard with a number of others to maintain the site's original functionality. I think it'll be a world first in the facility that we're offering in a purely and totally devoted to spinal cord injury people. Concerns that we all had about the, uh, the, the possible loss of the site to normal development was put at rest when a number of us got together and decided we were going to fight tooth and nail to stop this happening. And we eventually were able to convince the state government who were going to sell it off. I'm just so glad to see something happening on the site that is related to what the site was originally dedicated for. Most spinal cord injuries happen to people under the age of 35 and depending on the nature and severity of the accident, needs vary from toilet assistance to physiotherapy. The Sargood Centre is geared for the future rather than the past. It will allow family members of the spinal cord injury patients to stay alongside them for the first few months of treatment. The centre will be ready in 18 months and construction is said to commence very shortly. Joshua Henry for UTS News.